Hey launchers, let's talk about how to add an additional user to your account. So your business is scaling up, your team is growing, you want to keep an eye on everything and have everyone siloed and kind of doing their own work within your account. So you're going to go over to the main menu here on the left, drop down to settings, click on that. And then from within settings, you'll see a tab for users, click on users, and it will populate everybody on your team and their, their individual listings. And then to add someone new, as most things with Launch Control, you just go up to the top right and click on Create New User. So uh, all of the information here is, is pretty straightforward. And I'm just gonna use a bit of movie magic to fill the rest of this in and get right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back. The first name, Eric, last name, Moneymaker, uh, the alias rep name, just like in your profile settings, that alias rep name is what's going, the merge fields are going to pull. So if Eric is creating his own messages, he uses the merge field alias rep name, it's going to populate just his first name, Eric. The company name, you want to make sure that every user within your account is using the same uh, abbreviated company name that, that you're using as your uh, primary information up here in your profile settings. So what we discussed in the earlier how-to video was uh, abbreviating Cash Town Home Buyers to CTHB or CTHB Inc. Um, the email address, again, that's just going to be Eric's Eric's primary email address, username. Um, it's not. You can you can have fun with this. You can just you can just repeat the the first name Eric. It really it really doesn't matter. It's just a way uh, in a private view what you and your team are going to see or what you're going to see as the admin when you look back at that that view just behind the screen here of everybody that's uh, on your team and using the account. And then the last thing is you're going to want to make sure before you hit save that you uh, go ahead and tick all of these boxes, make sure that all of those are, are set, and then go ahead and hit save. As administrator of the account, you have the ability to tailor uh, access for each of the users. So if you highlight any of the users, in this case, we'll highlight Eric's name and scan all the way over to the right, you will see permissions. Click on that, and it's going to open up a series of check boxes that uh, detail access to every aspect of the app. Those that have been automatically checked relate to day-to-day -day usage. Those that have not are, tip are typically reserved for managerial roles. So Eric or any user does not have the option to choose their own adventure in Launch Control. You do. So once those have been set, you're, you're completely set up, and those are the ABCs of adding a user.